Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. Just lovely over here. Um, honestly, this is, I'm laughing. Pre-market report um, on this uh, hurricane day here in Sarasota, Florida, August 30th, 2023. Here in Sarasota, really not much going on. A lot of rain, some wind. Just walked around the neighborhood and there's no damage that I can see. Anyway, and I'm out here. Power's still on, at least for now. Anyway, um, let's let's talk, people. So, on the economic front, here again, the news or the bad news just does not stop. Here we are, and this is the news just, just this morning. I want to cover a bunch of things with you here. So, mortgage rates today have now hit a 23-year high, but that doesn't paint the whole picture. Home affordability is at a 40 year low. You want to talk about a bubble? You want to talk about a bubble on a monumental scale here? Again, this is a very simple concept to understand, and I'm just going to cover it real quick. When any asset, when the average price of any asset moves above the ability for the average guy or the average girl making an average salary it's a bubble. Now, this is a hyper bubble. This is way, way worse than the last freaking meltdown here that we had. I got caught in the rain a little bit. I'm walking the puppies. Anyway, um, <laughs> so this is a terrible situation. Not only that, and, you know, this is a no-brainer. We have the stock market, which is somewhere beyond La La Land. We've spoken about this a million times. You know, we have had, I want you to consider this, over the last month, this market has gone almost straight down, except for the last couple of trading days, where we got a boost here. Some mysterious entity is buying a hell of a lot of debt, pushing the 10-year yield lower. It did much higher this morning, weakening the dollar and more than likely buying the stock market. Who am I talking about? Who am I talking about? Who has the power to do this? What organization has virtually unlimited firepower at a cost, at a cost to you and me, and that surging inflation uh, to prop up this market that, of course, is the Federal freaking Reserve. You understand? Um, BlackRock admits they're buying the debt. The Fed's obviously buying the debt. You, We've watched a pretty profound found movement here with regard to the 10-year yield. Something that you and I have spoken about for quite a long time now. I've been saying, we've covered this, that they're not done, they're not done, they're not done, they're going to buy, buy, buy. Didn't look like it for a while, but all of a sudden now the cavalry arrives, and I'm talking about the debt market, which is the driver of this entire freak show, including this hyper bubble in the housing market, this hyper bubble in the stock market. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Okay, so you and I understand, most people have not even the slightest clue, but you and I understand it's the Federal Reserve that controls the financial markets, the financial system, and the economy. Where's the accountability here that we have housing at a f home affordability at a four-decade low? That, that according to their own numbers, which we got last week, inflation continues to rise. It can, imagine my shock. Imagine your shock. Let me ask you, how many freaks... Can you recall that came out talking about temporary, talking about transitory? Um, we were sold the biggest lie on the face of the earth, and you and I knew it. We called this out since day one, literally since day one. I, I was laughing. Go look at my old videos. We're laughing. We're laughing. We knew, you and I, there was no way on this earth, off this earth, or anywhere freaking else that this was going to be temporary with regard to inflation or transitory, and it would get worse and worse and worse. And I'm here to tell you something else. It's got nowhere to go but worse from here. People don't understand the gravity of the situation, okay? When you have this kind of a situation where central banks have gone absolutely wild to reprop up a stock market, reprop up a real estate bubble by pumping the world with trillions upon trillions upon trillions upon trillions of dollars of debt uh, out of thin air, all these extra bills uh, eventually chase the same, or in this case, a lesser amount of goods, and bam, begin inflation. This is a money supply problem. Meanwhile, What's not happening? What's not happening that we've covered a million times? <laughs> the major institutions have 
a zero reserve policy. Zero, okay? They don't have to hold any capital in reserve. Zero. Um, we could contract the money supply. We could get rid of inflation. But you see, none of our loving, caring representatives uh, care enough uh, to maybe take to the airwaves and inform we the people uh, that this is something that could go on here. Also, uh, how about this one? Do you believe for a second that our loving, caring representatives uh, have no idea of what's going on here with the banking system? Not just the regional banks, people. This is a major problem, and you and I are going to pay for it. <sighs> I covered this just the other day. Just in the last year, over $1 trillion in deposits are not making their way into the banking system. And not only that, people are pulling their cash out. I'm telling you, it's a quiet revolution. Whether people realize it or not, that's what's going on. Anyway, again, of course, you can't know this stuff. Uh, the, the mainstream propaganda, their fed is script. Why do you think? Do you think it's a coincidence? Let's, let's just focus on this. How is it when you flip through every single mainstream media outlet, they say the same things in the same words, in the same tone, and they usually repeat things three times. It's, just, it's this hypnotic trance that they put people into. It's a psyop. It's a program. I mean, they're programming your brain. They're programming people. Look here. Don't look there. Deception, distraction. You all know the game. But it's, it's, it's just an incredible thing. Now with this whole hurricane issue, just wait till this thing passes, okay? Because if you recall, over the weekend, they were flooding the, flooding the, the airwaves with, you know, this thing, the new thing going around, and you got to get this, and now we're all going to die, and hospitalizations are soaring 22% last week, and they're expecting this to climb. I mean, fear. That's going to come back. So just be ready for that, all right? I have no doubt that this is where we're going here. Another lockdown. People are, it's going to be a little different this time because more people are waking up to this whole, this whole scheme here, and that's all this is. Um, and it's being engineered by the central banks who want to shut down the economy because it allows them to inflate on an unprecedented scale. Again, <laughs> that's what they did last time. You, you, I don't even have it anymore. I had a nice chart here. Um, go look for it yourself on the uh, Federal Reserve's website. Look up the balance sheet. Look at the little blip on the screen. The little blip, this big, with regard to the Fed increases on the Fed's balance sheet uh, during the financial crisis. This big for that. This big for the, the economic shutdown. And we're going to see an even bigger one when they shut us down again. You think it's not coming? I think, I think you're deluded. Um, they want to do this again. This would fulfill the end game. So what do we got here? Again... We have more bad economic news, an economy that, what did we just find out again yesterday, people? Every single leading economic indicator, all of them, without exception, is going deeper into the negative. It's all telling us a big tale that things, although they are bad now, are about to get much, much worse here. The yield curve, the most inverted that we've ever seen. Meanwhile, we got the Fed in here buying it all along with BlackRock. Imagine my shock. Imagine your shock, too. Crude oil near $82 a barrel right now, going much higher. You all know this. We've covered it. The MMRI is 266, a precipitous drop from we were just over 280. Very interesting observation, um, which I talked about yesterday. Posted a nice uh, write-up uh, in my newsletter about this. Um, anyway, what this market is hoping for, honestly, and is it going to get it? <laughs> Probably, right? Is more easy money more suppressed rates, um, especially in this kind of an environment. How is it? Let me ask you. The Fed's in here buying all the debt. 10-year yield came down, but we have mortgage rates now at a 23-year high. And of course, on the back of that, home affordability at a 40-year low. Um, does this? Do you think really, how many of you honestly believe in your heart of hearts that this is just coincidence, that everything that's converging right now just is, was just written in the cards. It just happened by some miracle. Uh, n no, it's all deliberate, and I can promise you, you haven't seen a damn thing yet. Uh, this economic freefall is going to accelerate. The middle class is being exterminated literally like bugs. Um, and this neo-feudal system is right here, and it's right now. 
anyway that's it people that's where we stand um i want to hear from you please if you get anything out of these videos i want to hear from you i want you to please give me a thumbs up if you appreciate this look at this look at the lighting here today isn't this nice <laughs> all i did was flick these stinking lights on uh, maybe this is what we need to do. Let me know what you think. All right, look, this guy here loves you a lot from the heart. I mean that. We got each other's back, so in my view, we can't lose, okay? I will see all of you later unless the power goes out. Uh, 4.05 p.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time, all right? Take care of yourselves. And, uh, well, that's all. I'll see you.